Hi and welcome back to Inside RG. I'm Paul from the Heathrow branch. Today the virtual viewing is for a property on the Crossanhan Road, a big semi-detached house, Victorian Georgian uh, origins. It's about 1917 square feet or so, so very generous three bedroom semi, with glorious gardens which have been um, made out into various interconnecting rooms, all different. Uh, lovely property, lots of character. Coming onto market at £595,000. Come with me and let me show you around. So it's everything from the front door there going to the left. Pretty front door, stained glass window with a classic leaded light, uh, fan light over. This is still showing the entrance lobby, which is the entrance hall, which has been enlarged out into the sitting room, which I'll show you in a while, I'll give you a glimpse now. It's a very attractive reception space there. Walking through to the kitchen, it's open plan to the sitting dining room. The uh, family dining room is 21 foot 9 by 11 foot 3. And you've got a fireplace, a, a faux fireplace there. It would have been an original clothes now, I think. And then covers, bespoke covers built for each side. And coming through to the kitchen, you've got three windows in this one, so a light room. It's 15 foot 1 by 12 foot 2. Uh, there's a larder there in the corner and a door out to the courtyard garden. Swing now in towards the study. Uh, you've got a cloakroom there on the left. We'll go, right, sorry, we'll go straight past. And then your study or snug is 12 foot by 11 foot. But will be painted. Don't have to keep it if you don't want to. But the French door's out there to get into the courtyard garden at the back, which is gorgeous. And then swinging around into the sitting room. 14 foot 9 by 15 foot, got a fireplace, covers each side, huge window at the front there, so you're awash with natural light. And as I say, it's been opened up in the past out to that reception room, out of the reception hall, which makes it a good open plan space and kind of works well. The house there you can see is set well back from the road and very tall hedge, so you don't see the road at all. Coming up the stairs, first floor, there's three double bedrooms and two bathrooms, and there's an airing covered off the landing. This house does have an element of flying freehold, next door go over slightly over the dining room, uh, nothing major, nothing troublesome there. Going straight ahead, this isn't the biggest bedroom but we've called it the master just simply because it's got the ensuite shower room. Going to swing into the shower room now, full suite there, a uh, big shower cubicle on the right hand side coming up and there's a bidet as well, They're quite a rarity to have these days. We're popping a still now, photographs just to give you a better idea what it looks like, so modern and some borrowed light over the top there. Coming into the bedroom, triple aspect room, 15 foot 1 by 12 foot 3. Uh, got a nice feature of a semi vaulted ceiling there. Now we're back out into the landing, swing around, go into the family bathroom. So I get a white suite. What can you say about a bathroom? It is what it is. And I'm going to go into the third bedroom, so smallest of the three, still 11 foot 9 by 11 foot, uh, fireplace, wardrobe, and uh, you've got doors out there out to a balcony, which is really a really nice touch, again overlooking courtyard. Then we're into the biggest bedroom, magnificent room, this 14 foot 9 by 14 foot, a couple of wardrobes built in, and again this gloriously big window at the front with far reaching views. Uh, I would think in the winter you could probably see down to the coast from there. You get those views up here. And a room that can take a four poster bed. Everyone likes a four poster bed. And then finishing off upstairs, you've got a cot room, but we're going to call it a study because I think that's better. Off the landing again, window to front. Um, it's got a fitted bench there, rustic worktop. Out in the garden now, there's a the front garden formal. And then that's a back courtyard, which is glorious with a fat water um, fountain there, summer house and woodshed, storage shed coming off. And then the rest of the garden is probably getting up towards an acre in all, I would think. And it's been divided into various garden rooms, as they call it. So again, the other front, the other side of the drive, that's the formal lawn with flower beds. And then you've got areas of semi-woodland, you've got uh, ponds, you've got vegetable patch, fruit cage, greenhouse. It goes on, it goes on. Um, beautiful. Uh, she could open this to the public, the lady. She's done such a fantastic job on it. And it's as much work as you want to make it. She's done the hard work already there with the orchard. And it's just beautiful and idyllic and place to stay. Uh, floor plan coming up now. I hope you enjoy it. 